most of the time when people talk about Melodyne, they think of vocals. With Melodyne DNA and Melodyne Editor 1 and 2, we have the option to tune polyphonic material. So besides acoustic pianos and guitars, we can also use it to tune synthesizers. So in this video, we'll be going over how to use the format tool creatively with a synthesizer. To show this aspect of Melodyne, I'm going to use Massive as my virtual instrument. I'm using a dubstep type wobble preset inside of Massive because I think the formants can really lend itself to this type of sound. The first thing we want to do always before we transfer is to make sure we have a loop set up inside our arrangement window. As you can see, I got two bars, but I want a little more, so I'm going to make it to a four bar loop. So I want to make sure that it's actually a true four bar loop, so I'm going to zoom in and make sure, and it is excellent. We're ready to go. So now we can go back to our Melodyne insert press transfer, and then go ahead and press play, and transfer the audio into Melodyne. Let's say you want to change all the formants inside the plugin. Melodyne gives you some really great options to do this pretty quickly. If you go up to the top right hand corner of the plugin, you'll see these three macro buttons. The one all the way to the right is for amplitude. The one in the middle is for formance, which we'll be using in a second. And then finally, the last one to the left is to change the pitch of everything inside the plugin. If you don't want to use your DAW's loop feature, you can use the loop feature inside of the Melodyne plugin. Just drag the amount of space you want in the timeline and double click to start playback. So using the format tool and turning it up really brings out a lot of the top end and a lot of different overtones. It also makes it really gritty. Let's try pulling the format down and seeing how it affects the sound. Pulling the format down doesn't sound nearly as good as pulling it up. It just gets too muddy. But remember, we're doing everything at one time. So you can go into the edit window and change all the notes individually one by one. For instance, I really liked when the E1's format was down, but everything else I really enjoyed it when everything was up. So I can do that on a note by note basis. Now I'm just going to mess around with some of these formats and see what I can come up with. With the format tool selected, I'm going to lower all the E flat formants to C. Next I'll select some of the other notes and raise those an octave. Remember, I'm moving the formants, not the pitches. Listen back now and see what the result sounds like. Finally, let's see how it sounds if we raise the rest of the E flats. If you want to smooth out the transitions from one formant area to another, go to Select All with the Format tool selected, and then go to the nearest note, and you'll find this little tool here that looks like an X. This is called the Portamento tool. It can also be thought of as a glide tool. You often see glide knobs on synthesizers, and this works in the same way. It changes the amount of time it takes to get from one pitch to another. So if you click and drag up or down, you'll see my little portamento line is turning it into a smoother transition. Let's see how that affected the sound. If a smoother transition is what you're looking for from formant to formant, this will help you achieve that. In part two of the formant videos, we're gonna mess around with some vocals.